Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about a brief introduction to congestion games. A quick recap of what we have learned covered so far. We have covered static games, the dominated strategy, Nash equilibrium, then different types of uh, Nash equilibrium, pure strategy, equilibrium, mixed strategy, equilibrium. We have also seen the dynamic games or the sequential games and the extensive form representation and game tree. We have seen how we find equilibrium in such case, which is uh, through backward induction and subgame perfect equilibrium. Then we have seen a very high level introduction to repeated games and uh, coordination games. So in this session, we will cover congestion games. Games with many agents. So how do we actually represent game with many agents or n agents? Even with the two actions per player, there are 2 to the power n possible outcomes. So it is very difficult to list all of them. And real world games often have structure that allows us to describe them concisely. Uh, if you remember, we had an example in our first lecture uh, or probably in the second lecture on a large number of population playing a game of revolt or not revolt. Even though there were 1000, 1000 population n, we were still be able to represent them very concisely using set notations. That is what we are referring here. So let's have a motivational example called traffic. <laughs> 10 people need to go from get from A to B. Everyone can choose between the top and the bottom route. Via the top route, the trip takes 10 minutes. Maybe it's a highway, very good road. Via the bottom route, it depends on number of fellow travelers. It takes as many minutes X as there are people using the route. What do you do and what are the pure strategy equilibria, Nash equilibria? Interesting problem, right? Let's take another example. It's a very famous problem, the El Farol Bar problem. 100 people consider visiting the El Farol Bar on a Thursday night. They, have, they all have identical preferences. If 60 or more people show up, it's nice to be at home because it is crowded there. If fewer than 60 people show up, it is nice to be at the bar. It is necessary for everyone to decide at the same time whether they will go to the bar or not. So if you are a person, what will you decide? Given these two motivational examples, let me formally define a congestion game. A congestion game is a tuple N R A D where n is a finite set of players and r is a finite set of resources a is a1 cross a2 cross etc n is a finite set of action profiles for each of them there are uh, 2 to the power r set of actions available <laughs> and d is a vector of delay functions each of which is required to be non-decreasing Thus, every player chooses a set of resources to use and the resource has an associated delay. The utility is minus cost of i, the cost incurred. So the cost incurred is typically the sum of delays he or she is experiencing due to congestion of the resources the player has picked. So in this example, it will become sigma of dr n to the power a. Let's take the two samples that we have seen formally modeling the previous examples. The traffic congestion players are 10 players. Resources going by one direction going by the other direction. Action spaces the two routes using one of the two resources. Delay functions one is x implies 10, other one is x implies x. Now, the bar problem, 
there are 100 players resources wine and house the wine bar and the houses action spaces either wine bar or own house so notice here individual players have a different set of action space delay function x implies 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0 d of house is x implies half so let's solve a problem it's a very common problem called multicast routing in the multicast routing problem we are given a graph g of g equal to v comma e where number of vertices is v and number of edges are e each agent i must buy adge edges connecting source to destination s to t the cost of an edge is distributed equally between agents that brought it so the more agents buy it the cheaper it is the cost of the path is sigma c divided by e for all edges where c is the cost of the edge and n is number of agents that brought e the goal is to minimize the cost so let's take this example and assume there is a packet there is a route from s1 to t1 and s2 to t2 so what are the possibilities and what will be an optimal answer one option is agent 1's cost is 7 direct path agent 2 has a direct path so 7 and 6 second option is agent 2 goes through a hop by hop path leading to 2 plus 4 plus 1 7 now assume agent 1 also goes through that path then the root 4 with the cost 4 is shared among both of them so it is 4 divided by 2 so in fact uh, this looks like the optimal answer isn't it both of them have a minimum cost another example which is the uh, opposite of multicast routing is traffic and uh, the same context everything the delay on the edge is proportional to number of agents so the only difference is cost of using the path is sigma c times e not n not c divided by n this is very common in especially in i have seen in singapore based on the traffic the uh, toll amount increases on the particular time of a day so you see here direct path is 7 and 6 one person using a shared path is 2 plus 2 plus 1 now when two people are using the shared cost becomes double the path 2 where both of them share becomes double so we can understand probably what is the best way for both of them general congestion games so assume there are four cities roma milano napoli and salmerino salerno resources are one two three four roads players are two drivers one in roma and one in milano which road should i choose to reach my destination player a wants to go to salerno and he has two options road one followed by road two or road four followed by road three player b wants to go from milano to napoli he also has two routes one comma four and two comma three what about the payoff <laughs> So let's take uh, one approach smallest index road first so Roma A will choose 1 over 4 B will choose again 1 over 4 assume cost of the roads are given like this if one player is using road 1 the cost is 2 if two people are using road 1 the cost is 3 if one person is ro choosing road 2 sorry uh, road 2 cost is 1 two people are using road to cost is 4 so given the cost what is ua 1 is shared by two people so c1 has to be of c1 of 2 3 plus c2 of one person 1 4 and ub c1 of 2 3 plus c4 of 1 2 minus 5 <laughs> and then you can determine like that you can model for all possibilities determine which route gives me the least cost and then proceed 
there can be other approaches to this is only one approach called smallest index fraud first the payoff of i depends on depends by the congestion of the selected resources for each uh, resource there is a cost cost is a function of n ck of n there are a few uh, models or types of congestion game symmetric congestion game where SI are all same and payoffs are identical symmetric function of n minus 1 variables or single choice condition game each player can choose only one resource any one in the resource set or subjective condition game for example I may be early for a movie and I really want a traffic jam so that I can enjoy some more time on the road listening to some radio so it may be good for me to have a traffic jam versus someone else who is hurrying for a job or a class <laughs> then network congestion game each player has a starting and terminal node and the strategies are path in the network we have seen plenty of examples in this uh, video crowding game single choice subjective congestion game and weighted crowding game each player has a different weight upon condition in fact you can relate there are a lot more you can relate them now every game has at least one mixed Nash equilibrium a game with a pure equilibrium is better than one with mixed isn't it so Rosenthal in 1973 has uh, developed a theorem every general condition game possesses at least one pure Nash equilibrium and uh, I personally believe all mathematicians and their results so I never discuss the proofs so the class of con general condition game is nice we know that there is a class of game for which it is possible to find a poor Nash equilibrium total of R resources in case a number of players that in the state s yes, choose the resource K and condition called CK we can introduce something called as a potential function sigma k from 1 to r sigma y from 1 to nk ck which is essentially uh, a function that is mapped from your uh, congestion game potentially do uh, it looks like v comma c will lead to zero cost for player 2 the other two has a common results with uh, pl player 1 given v comma c is the best strategy for player 2 it looks like player 1 can use l1 i and b then it will become an ex mutually exclusive uh, list of resources that will also lead to zero cost for player 1 there are a lot of applications in computer science and uh, wireless networks things like uh, multi-agent systems for resource sharing distributed systems and load balancing among unreliable resources CDMA systems cognitive radio networks so interested uh, people can go to Google Scholar type congestion game and your area of research you will get plenty of uh, papers there are some useful uh, YouTube references here uh, I suggest you to go and watch and uh, with that let me thank you for today